Hello, this is Pastor Cat with your five minute devotional starting right now. Well, this is the third week of Advent and we are focusing on the idea of joy. Now, we're obviously looking at the idea of joy through the eyes of Mary. Our main passage for today will be Luke chapter one and I'll put it on the screen right there. Luke chapter 1, 26 through 38, says, In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The girl's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Now, if this was you at that point, this idea that you are highly favored must be massively uplifting. You're very excited. If you're Mary in this situation, the angel has come and said you are highly favored by God. Great news is coming next, right? Well, let's see. Uh, Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. Be. But the angel said, or don't be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You've conceived and you will give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the son of the most high. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. He will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. No. Betrothal at that point in history happened between the ages of 11 and 12, sometimes a bit later. We don't know how old Mary was, but certainly a teenager at the oldest. And she's just received a very mixed bag of news. One is the angels come and said, you were blessed among women. You've been favored by God. You're going to bear a son. The problem is that she was betrothed to be married, not married, yet hadn't been with her husband Joseph yet. And so because of that, she has this idea running through her mind that, yes, this could be an amazing thing. Yet at the same time, her entire society is going to look at her differently from now on. The passage actually goes on. Let's finish it up. How will this be, Mary asked, and the angel said, since I am a virgin, and the angel said, the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the Holy One will be born, will be called the Son of God. You know, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child at her old age, and she, who was unable uh, to conceive, is in her sixth month already, for no word from God will ever fail. I'm the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled then the angel left her. You know, at this young age, Mary had an interesting view of life. And that was that the word of God would be fulfilled. And so the joy that should have come about, the natural joy, let's say, that should have come about from conceiving a child and being a mother for the first time is actually replaced with a bit of a burden. You know, when we use the word joy, oftentimes we think of walking around with this giant smile on your face. And that is not at all what the Bible teaches. You see, joy, as the Bible teaches, is looking at your circumstances, knowing full well that God's will will be done in your life. Accepting that and letting him work through your life so that you don't walk around either um, depressed or saddened or fearful of what's going to happen because your joy doesn't come from yourself and your circumstances, but from God alone. And that's exactly what Mary had going on. I'm not sure what's going on in your life today. I guarantee that not all of it is good. Not all of it is perfect. Not all of it is things that you would choose for yourself. So my challenge to you and my challenge to myself this week is to have joy throughout it despite the circumstances because God is good enough to deal with it. He's big enough to deal with it and he loves me enough that I know he will deal with it. Well, if this has been as encouraging for you as it has been for me, I'd love to hear all about it. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to uh, pray for you and what God is doing in your life. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and, of course, a like if you enjoyed it. We will see you next week. God bless.